Hey guys, this is Mike with the Electrical Engineer's Perspective on EE Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the Anchor Life.2. So let's get right into the hands-on video. All right, let's take a look at the new Life.2s. This is Anchor's newest product here, and I really enjoy them as fitness earbuds. And let's just quickly look at the back of the box here. We'll go over in detail all the specs, but let's see what's in the box itself. You get the Life.2s, the case, ear tips, ear wings, and the USB-C cable. So let's take a look at what actually comes in the box here. We see all our different earbud size types. We go from extra small, small, large, extra large, and mediums come standard on them. We got the ear wings at the top there, different sizes, large and small, and mediums are currently installed on them. Let's take out the charging case here. Pretty hefty, feels nice. It's a little bit heavy, but you got 100 hours of battery life from this device. Right on the back, we got the USB on the back. Let's open it up. We got our two earbuds, left and right marked. You take these out, the size is small, but they do feel hefty. You can see a little light uh, blinking inside there. The second that you pull it out, it's gonna connect back to the most recent device it was connected to. And if not, you can actually just hold down the, the sound core button on the front, and that'll actually start the connection process. You look at these ear wings and the flex in them, and that's one of the biggest keys as to why I like it for workouts. They're able to fit snugly in your ear. I was wearing these on long bike rides, going almost 30 miles an hour. They stayed in perfectly, going on runs, lifting weights. There's absolutely zero issues with these, and I feel like this is a great product. Now let's get into the product comparison now, the specs. Let's take a quick comparison between the specs of the Life.2 and a similarly priced, but a little higher uh, quality Spirit.2. Let's see what the real differences are. Price-wise, we got 50 bucks. That's its selling point. Fantastic price. It's going to give you everything you want for such a low price there. And we see a 60% increase to 80 bucks for the Spirit.2s. Now let's see what the differences are here. Playtime per charge. Eight hours. It's a long time. You're going to be able to do whatever you got to do. Let me see the Spirit.2s a little bit more than half the time, five and a half hours. Total playtime with charging case. Now this is the biggest marketing factor of the Life.2s. You can go 100 hours. So use it for eight hours, throw it back in the case. Eventually you'll hit a whole 100 hours of overall charge versus only 16 for the Spirit.2. Connectivity. Both are using Bluetooth 5.0. This technology came out in 2016. We know they updated physical channel switching. They changed modulation schemes. They're using uh, GFSK, uh, Gaussian frequency shift keying. Very, very good, solid, no big issues there. Water resistance, IPX5 versus IPX7. You're going to be able to sweat in the IPX5. Don't worry about it. Fast charging. Here's another big thing that happens. Let's say you're going to the gym, you put on your headphones. Oh man, you're out of battery. Put those back in your case. 10 minutes of charging will give you the full 90 minutes. That's your whole workout. Sometimes for the Spirit.2, only 10 minutes. For 60 minutes, that, that 60 might not cover it depending on what you're doing. Inputs. They both take USB Type-C for their charging, which is great. Keeping the trend of newer cabling that they're going to be using. And the drivers for moving the air physically is going to be the same size, eight millimeters. So not much of a change there. And just some final quick comments, guys. Overall, the EE Tech Review score is going to be a 4.28 out of five. Audio quality, four out of five. It sounds fine. If you're using it for working out. You're not going to have an issue. If you're an audiophile, you're going to hear the difference. It's not AirPod or AirPod Pro quality, but it's pretty close. The microphone. I'd say it's the most disappointing thing about the entire set of earbuds. You can use them for phone calls. They'll hear you. No big issue there. But they're nothing clear, not extremely clear, nothing perfect. Comfort, four to five. Those ear wings that they have in there really keep them in. Battery life, five out of five. You're not going to beat that at all. 100 hours is unbelievable. Price, five out of five, 50 bucks. You're not going to find something cheaper for what value it brings. Usability, four out of five. 
The second they get it paired up to your device, just taking them in and out is a charm. You can even take one out and use one ear at a time, as I mentioned earlier. So nothing wrong with that. And the cool factor, it's a four to five. You're not going to get something with USB-C as a charging port. And plus its ability to last for a hundred hours and fit your ears almost perfectly. It's great. So overall, I really appreciate everything guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.